Here at Finn's Tigger to draw Rapunzel's Tower. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies, and we're using markers, but you can use whatever you have. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. First, we're gonna draw the top of the tower and we're gonna work our way down. So first, let's draw an upside down V or kind of like the letter A shape. We're gonna draw up and down. Then we're gonna draw a line coming across the bottom. So we have a, a nice triangle shape for the roof. And we're gonna draw a very simple version of Rapunzel's tower, but it's still gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, now let's draw another little roof over here. So we're gonna draw an upside down L. We'll go up and then connect in. And then we're gonna draw the little pointy roof on top of this. So we'll extend out just a little further on the left. Then we're gonna come up and back down. And this part of the roof is overlapping behind the first part that we drew. Okay, we could also add a little chimney, maybe, right here, coming down. It's a little rectangle shape. Yeah. And you could add even more decorations and details, but let's leave it just like that. Now let's draw the window. We're gonna draw an upside down U shape. We're gonna come up, around, and back down. Now you could also leave her hair out of the drawing, but I think it would be fun to add the hair. We're gonna overlap some of the tower. And we're gonna start inside the window and we're gonna draw her, she's inside the tower, but we're gonna draw her hair coming down. So we'll start here. We're gonna draw a wavy line that comes out and connects to there first. And then we can continue down like this. And you could really just Make the hair do whatever you want. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come down and then add a little curl at the very bottom. And I love that yours is different. That's awesome. <laughs> it's very cool. Okay, now let's draw the other side of her hair. So, I love that she has so much hair. We're going to come down. We're going to match that same curve, but watch. Some of the places I'm going to get thinner, and some of them I'm going to get further away. And then right at the end, I'm going to come to a point down here at the bottom. Kind of looks like a road that's going into a tunnel. Yeah. There you go. You did it. There's her hair. Now let's draw the bottom of the window. And we can add even more. Let's add more decorations to this window. Maybe we can add a frame that goes around it. So I'm going to draw another upside down U shape. And we'll draw a line that goes underneath too. So we've got this little window frame. Oh, and we could also even add little design lines going this way around the window frame. Let's also color in the window, except for her hair. So we can color this in black, and then also underneath her hair right here. Now let's draw the rest of the tower. We're gonna draw the side of the tower on the left, and then also over here on the right. And then I'm going to extend this a little further past the window on each side, and then we'll connect underneath. And we're going to imagine the tower going behind her hair. So this is going to be a lot of fun. We can imagine the hair being in front of the whole tower. So we're going to go behind it and draw it and make it look really 3D. Okay, now let's draw two diagonal lines. This one is coming in here on the right side, but over here the hair is covering it up. So I'm just going to imagine it going behind. And then right here at the bottom, we'll just come straight across. Let's add a little design right here on this part. I'm going to add two lines here. And then let's draw two lines going diagonal this way. And then we can draw part of the other one on the other side, but it's behind the hair. So I'm only going to draw one line. Yeah, just like that. That looks really cool. Now let's draw the rest of the tower coming down further. So I'm going to start here. And we're going to get wider towards the bottom. So it does look like our tower is kind of tipping, huh? Yeah. Mine's going diagonal. Same. <laughs> that's, that's okay. <laughs> we're practicing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no mistakes. And the next time we draw it, we could draw it so that the tower doesn't look as scary and tipping. <laughs> Maybe on this side, I'm going to draw, watch this, I'm going to try to draw it balanced out so that it's not as tipping. There we go. This side's going to come out further. So I imagine this line going through. Yeah, the tower is definitely tipping. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Maybe the wind's blowing. Oh, yeah. And then you're going to come start. down, probably, yeah, it would come down, but come down really far, like maybe over here. There you go. It's very tricky that we added the hair in front, and uh, but I think it's a fun challenge. Mm-hmm. There you go. Good job. And I especially love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. And it's okay if our art friend's drawings look different too, because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, and to... Practice. Practice. Remember to have fun and practice. And you can even pause the video and take extra time to add more decorations. Let's do that next. Down here at the bottom, let's draw a little hill that our tower is on. So I'm going to go a little bumpy line like this that connects the two sides of the tower and also goes below the hair. Yeah, and then let's add even more things. I'm gonna add maybe a vine that comes up. It's coming up like this, up the tower, and then maybe even more kind of moss or vines that are growing up a little higher on this side. And you don't have to draw it exactly like me. You can change it any way you want. Oh, maybe there's even some more vines up here on this side. I'm gonna draw some here. And, oh, we could also even add little flower shapes on the vines. I'm going to draw little heart shapes going up, too, that we can color in different colors. I'm also adding a little zigzag grass here on the hill. And we can also add little flowers down here on the hill. So remember to pause the video if you want extra time to add all of these extra things. You can even add a background. Maybe there's a really cool waterfall back here or uh, mountains in the sky. I'm going to add some flowers up here at the top too. We did it, Hadley. We finished drawing Rapunzel's tower. Looks really pretty, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, it's going to look even better colored in. This part will fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video if you want to use our drawings as inspiration for yours. You ready to speed things up? Yeah. Hadley, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring Rapunzel's tower. I especially love her golden hair. Yeah. <laughs> Looks really pretty. And we also added even more things like flowers and also I added little butterflies. But you can add even more things. We used our Art for Kids Hub markers to color with, but you could use whatever you have, like something completely different, like crayons or even colored pencils. If you have the same markers, the colors that we use, well, for the hair, what did we use? 35 yellow and 23 orange. Yeah, and then we also used two purples for the roof, 75 is the light purple, and then 82 is the dark purple. We also used 103 brown, and we used two grays for the brick. WG1 and WG5. Yeah, the light gray, WG1, we used that first and colored in all of the bricks, and then we used WG5 to add the brick lines on top. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Rapunzel's Tower. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.